Hey guys, so as I explained in my previous video, things are going to be a little bit different, actually very different now. Um, I've decided to add different segments to my channel. So um, today's Monday, right? And Monday is going to be a motivation day, inspiration day. Um, it's the day where you guys get up and get ready to do the work and a lot of people are stressing out over um, their week. You know, a lot of people, like they say, 80% of um, heart attacks happen on Monday morning. Whether it's Monday morning on the way to work or out of getting out of the bed because we're all stressed out by work. <laughs> so I think that's a, the, the right time for you guys to get a little bit of inspiration, some tips, you know, some stuff to get your week started and um, start moving forward, right? Um, today, I just want to talk to you guys about... Um, a way to get away or, or rather let go of the past or past situations in order to move forward okay, because oftentimes it's very hard it's, uh, to let go of bad experiences or um, things that people have done to us it's really hard for us to actually do that um, I'm gonna give you guys a little one small tip to do so okay and the perfect way to illustrate this is with a relationship say you just got out of a relationship, you just went through a breakup, or someone either cheated on you, hurt you, broke up with you, uh, whatever it is that ended the relationship. Well, the way to move past that, because what happens a lot of times is that we're held at the, the past holds us back because we're blaming, we're blaming situations, we're blaming feelings, we're, we're blaming ourselves for what has happened to us. However, if you can um, change things a little bit, see them a little bit differently, and start saying what I did. Thank you. I'm so happy and grateful that this happened. Because you know what? It put you in a better position to move forward. Now, it's not all about saying thank you. You have to actually get something out of it. So, first step is to say thank you. Be grateful that this happened because Thanks to that particular situation or person, you are now in a better position in your life. Whether you want to admit it, whether you want to stand it, whether you want to believe it or not. Now, once you're able to, to start saying thank you and letting go of resentment, which is something you have to work on, because once you do so, that is what's going to help you move forward. Now, once you can do that, the next step is to look at the situation objectively, as objectively as you can and try to figure out what it is that you can learn from it. Because everything that happens to us, or everything that, every situation in our lives, unlike saying that happens to us because I believe that life doesn't happen to us, it happens for us. <laughs> so every situation that presents itself has a lesson to teach us, either to make us happy, if we're able to be in the moment and really enjoy it, or to teach us a lesson that's going to propel us into the future. So that is the thing to do. Look at the situation and ask yourself, what is it that can I can learn from this? What is it that I can take from this? Because you have to start realizing that things don't happen to put us down. They happen to teach us a lesson. So let's say you went through a breakup. What is it that this taught me? Did this make me stronger? How can I grow from it? And I'm talking about a relationship, but let's say um, you lost your job. It's the same thing also. What is it from that, not, not just that business relationship or that partnership or that love affair that makes you stronger, but what is it that that particular breakup or layoff taught you? How can you, what is, what is it that you can take out of it? Because think about it, things that happen to us, it, it, that happen in our lives, they're not things that are happening just at random. And even if they do, it's not really what's happening. It is how you process it. So you have to ask yourself, what is it that I can take from this in order to become stronger so that the next job application, so that the next um, jumps, the next race, the next relationship, the next investment could be better than the one that I was in, which did not work out. 
And if you can do that, first, choosing to get let go, um, choosing to forgive, not forget, but you choose to forgive and say to yourself, you know what, they didn't know better. Or, you know what, maybe this happened for a reason. That, having that, that, that the ability to have that faith that things happen for a reason, allows you to kind of take a deep breath and let go of the situation for a second while you start asking yourself and getting your brain to work on what it is that you have to take out of the situation. That's my tip for today. <laughs> so um, try to practice that as much as possible with every single situation that you, put, you, you find yourself into. A relationship, a job, a business partnership, uh, uh, a marathon, whatever it is, there's always something to be learned. And if you can focus on what you need to learn out of a situation, then you will take your focus away from the blame and what went wrong, what, what, what someone did that was bad. You won't even have time for that because your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. So if you can intensely focus on that and that could be your main objective, then you will be able, my friend, to create true breakout in your life and achieve success. So that's my tip. My name is Vanessa St. Louis, your life coach for Breakout Coaching Program. I will see you guys with this particular series of Monday Inspiration next week.